Did I buy a few too many items at the studio tour, Potter Puffs? <laughs> That's right Potter Puffs, I've been to the studio tour, you guys are waiting for this haul. It's the best haul that I could possibly do. As in, studio tour hauls are my absolute favourite, they don't happen often, but when they do, they happen in style. So today I'm going to show you all the things I purchased at the studio tour, you're going to love them. I always struggle to choose in the shop because I feel under time pressure, there's people pushing into you, it's so busy, everyone wants to look at everything, but I came back and I didn't regret any of the items, I was super happy with everything I chose. It's full, we have lots of good things. I set myself a budget, so I don't know how much most of you would take to the tour, but I saved up for quite a few months, so I definitely didn't just randomly have this money, I did have to save up well in advance to make sure that I could afford some nice things at the tour. Everything is quite expensive there. Just a warning for anyone who's going, the cheapest things you can get are postcards and pencils, they're around a pound, but any of the bigger, more substantial items, even pin badges, they can cost upwards of £10, so you've really got to think carefully about what you want and make sure you have saved up a bit of money if you want to buy a little haul. Everything in there though is absolutely amazing quality and yeah, can't really rate the shop enough, it's really fun. So I'm going to try and remember all the different prices of the items, let me know in the comments down below what your favourite item is and if you've been to the studio tour, also give this video a big thumbs up if you do enjoy it because I like to know which videos are your favourites and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to become part of the magical Potter Puff community. Let's get straight on with this video. The way I'm going to do it today, Potter Puffs, I'm going to start with the cheapest item, work my way up to the big finale. I bought quite a lot of separate items, none of them are like massive in terms of like price because they do some noble collection things there and they're like over a hundred pounds, it's nothing like that, but I'll work up from smallest to biggest. So let's start with a very small cheap item which I was really happy with. Well actually, let's start off with the free item. So soon, I'm going to do a video all about the studio tour tips so that you can get the most out of your trip to the studio tour. But you can get these for free if you're a child, but also if you're an adult and you want to get one, just ask a member of staff and they'll give you one. And it is this Making of Harry Potter passport. Now the passport consists of a few different pages. As I say, they're aimed at kids, but it's a lot of fun. I'm thinking of colouring mine in. As you go around, there are six different crests for you to collect. They have stamping kind of like machine things, which are really hard to press, and you can collect these on the way around the tour on different pages. It's been stamped up, and there's an example with the golden snitch, and it's a really nice, cheap, free memento that you can keep forever and design and decorate if you want to. There's also a quiz inside. So they had some postcards on offer. I'm always down for a sale. So they had Fantastic Beasts, probably because the Crimes of Grindelwald postcards will be coming out. They had these ones in an offer for 50p. Now most of the postcards at the tour are around a pound. This one has got all of the lovely main cast members. I'm really loving the design of this. I'll probably just stick it up in my wardrobe, something like that. But for 50p, you can't really go wrong. Nice quality. And you could send it to a friend, get a few of these for when you go home. They had quite a lot of different designs. Some of them just had like quotes and sayings from the film. The other ones were like pictures of the cast members. Now the next item is one of the cheapest items I got, but actually one of my favorites because I love this character so much. It has to be Professor McGonagall. Yes, she is in postcard form. I saw this along with like Luna, Harry, Ron, Hermione. There was a few of the other main characters, but then there was Professor McGonagall and I just knew I had to get it because it's the cutest version of her ever. I really want to get like the Mattel doll. I've got a pop so I can make like a little shrine and I'm going to do a video soon about all the reasons why I love Professor McGonagall because she's literally my favourite character in the whole thing. A bit of an underdog in some respects but I honestly think she is like the essence and life of Hogwarts. So this postcard was £1.50. It's an expensive postcard but I really don't regret that money because it is so so cute. What do they do to us when we've already spent too much money in the shop and then they put loads of items around the till? Oh, I cannot deal with it, but I had to get, whilst at the till, this Hufflepuff pencil because A, I don't have a Hufflepuff pencil and B, it's Hufflepuff. So it's amazing, it's so cute, um, it's got like little badges, stars, it looks like the Quidditch kind of sign and it says Hufflepuff. It sharpens well which is a good sign because I bought some, well, I got given some Zoella pencils and they broke as soon as I sharpened them. And I think, 
what? I haven't even used these yet. A pound, not bad, nice pencil, and they had all of the houses, which is a bonus. It's the Goblet of Fire event at the moment, that's what I went for, and they had, as you come out of the Great Hall, you can pick up these little Harry Potter um, Goblet of Fire name things. So this pops out of the goblet. In my vlog, you'll see how this works. It was scrunched up, so I did take a couple, one for me and one for John. And they are like little pieces of parchment and they have got Harry's name on it. So it's a really cool little piece of merch, which is very unique. You won't be able to get it anywhere else. And it's free. This is a really nice little touch that you get at the beginning of your trip. And I just was very happy to get one. I've wanted one of these Triwizard names for ages. They haven't done them previously, so this is definitely one of the first occasions you could pick these up. And hopefully they'll do the Goblet of Fire event in future because it was really, really good. And I loved seeing Fred and George outside of the age line. That was a really nice touch. We all know that I'm obsessed with butterbeer. I always am. I've had it twice now. I've had two different cups, so I've got like two different cups. And this time, I don't know if I regret my decision because I love butterbeer so much, but I went for the ice cream to try it. It was really nice. Now, I don't think it lives up to the butterbeer itself. I kind of wish I got that now, but I also really wanted the actual dish that the butterbeer ice cream came in. So I was really happy to have that. I'm gonna put like maybe some jewelry in it. Here it is. The cups are really good, but I don't actually end up using them that much. They're on my shelf. Whereas this will probably be used more. I might put it next to my bed so I can just put things like my rings in them. It's a really cool little dish. It was £6.95 to have ice cream in it which is a lot for ice cream but you get the dish and the ice cream is very nice also you get a lot now I eat a lot as most of you probably know because I'm such a foodie but I could not finish all that ice cream because I'd have felt incredibly sick but I ate a lot of it and it was really really nice so you could share that with someone comes with two spoons and then you've got this little dish to take home. One thing I didn't buy at the tour, which I kind of wish I had, but also I couldn't afford anyway, so it didn't really matter, was a Butterbeer hoodie. Now that was in the um, Platform 9 and 3 quarter shop itself. It was just kind of like, I think it was a brownie colour, and then it had this exact logo on it. And because I'm such a fan of Butterbeer, I just think I would have worn it loads. It looked really good quality. I didn't see how much it was, I didn't buy it, but I absolutely love it. It might be something in future that I look into getting maybe online. I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning, so I said I had set myself a budget. This stuff came to about £90, including a chocolate frog that I didn't buy for myself. So I spent less than last time, but I think I'm just as happy with everything that I got. And you can get for much less loads of lovely items. For instance, they do a Triwizard Cup, which is um, like the one you would see lit up at the beginning of the tour. So sweets, I don't usually buy many sweets just because I like to have things that I can keep. But on the other hand, I use sweet props a lot in my photos. So any boxes I've had previously, such as fudge flies, chocolate frogs, Bertie Bots, I use them a lot in photos because they're perfect for that and give a real authentic like Hogwarts look. But I still prefer to like get physical items. Anyway, most times I go to the tour now, I try and pick up at least one sweet item. Can't remember how much these were exploding bonbons. I really like the Mina Lima design. It's got like loads of kind of firecracker type packaging like you would find on the Weasley products. And it looks like something I'm definitely gonna enjoy eating because it's orange and pineapple flavor bonbons, which sounds probably disgusting to some of you, but to me, I like the sound of that. And it's white chocolate with an orange and pineapple flavor, truffle center and popping candy. I'm obsessed with popping candy, I love it. I don't know why, but I sit there with my mouth open, like literally listening to it pop because I love it. I don't know why, I'm weird. I would do a Hogwarts sweet video soon, but I don't have enough to eat, so I'm gonna have to buy some more one time so that I can try them all on camera with you guys. This was another till purchase, and it is this. You know poo. Now, I've seen these quite a while ago. I wasn't gonna pay six pound like the full price to get them. I don't know why, just because I bought the other thing. But anyway, these were down to three pounds because they go out of date soon on the 30th. And that's just the best before date, so it's not like the end of the world. Anyway, I can easily eat these before the 30th of September. What I'm probably going to do is eat half and then keep the other half in there just as like a prop again. Um, I just really like the design of the packaging and also I really like the name of it. And also I love the fact it's a Weasley product. The constipation sensation that's gripping the nation. That in itself is such a funny thing to say. 
and they taste really nice. They literally just taste like Smarties. Green Smarties that'll probably make you really, really hyper. They smell good, I've eaten a few. I'm gonna eat some more because I need to get these eaten. Now the next item, I always buy John a chocolate frog for coming with me. It's his favorite thing. You literally have to take a knife to it. So here we have the obligatory item that we buy every single time. These are really cool. I mean, the packaging is stunning. It's again, a Mina Lima design. Get a lot of chocolate. Look how big that is. Compared to the ones you can get in other shops in the UK, these are giant. They are the best chocolate frogs ever. Don't try and sink your teeth into them because you'll probably break your teeth. Cards you can get vary, so you can get all of the four house founders. You can also get Hengist of Woodcroft, which I got last year. There's also Bertie Bott and Gilderoy Lockhart. But he did get his house founder, which is Godric Gryffindor. And I doubt you'll be able to eat the whole chocolate frog in one sitting. Let me know down below if you do actually end up eating that all in one sitting. It's quite big. These, I believe, are about $8.95. We have got some good items left. Next one is definitely one of my favorites. Now, pins are really, really popular. A lot of you Harry Potter fans absolutely love to collect them, as do I. One thing I struggle with is they're quite small and quite expensive, some of them, but they are so, so intricate, detailed, and really good quality. This time, I went for one of the cheaper pins, and I do not regret my decision because it is amazing. It's a Weasley and Weasley pin. This was £6.95, which is a really good price, and it just features their little shop logo. I think I'm going to put this on a denim jacket or something like that, because it's just a really cute thing to wear. I love it so much, and it's really adding to my Weasley collection, which is something I'm trying to build up. And there are so many to choose from. I saw some other favourites. They had some of the dragons from the Goblet Fire, so you could literally have all of the different dragons in the task. They had the train in three different parts in the Platform 9 and 3 quarter shop. They have Dolores Umbridge's plates. So many, so many nice ones. We've got four items left. The next one is again, well, all of these last items are gonna be your favorite because they are pretty. Look, it is the Time Turner keyring form. Now, I saw like little charms of the Time Turner. I didn't see the actual necklace. Um, they have like pins, but I just saw this and thought this is the most beautiful keyring ever. Definitely not going to use it as a keyring because it's way too nice. But the detail is so great. It was £8.95, which I really don't think is bad because of the way it moves. It's got all the working parts. The only thing it doesn't have is the engravings on it. But, you know, if you bought a more expensive time turner, then it would have that. This is gorgeous. The only one I have at the moment is a time turner necklace from Primark, which was £3. It does actually spin on one of the parts, but I've used that in so many photos. People absolutely love it. So I thought I'm going to buy a bigger one, which will look really good in photos. So at the top you get a little making of Harry Potter sign right there and it has got the three spinning parts so we've got well two spinning parts so you've got this part which goes round really really well and then you've got the middle part which I'm struggling to show you it all really but that spins too and the sand moves as well all of the detail is there it's a lovely gold color perfect to put on your keys or leave off your keys and use as a prop like me really worthwhile piece of merch. We then have probably my favourite item I bought, probably actually my second favourite. This was £13.95 and I think it is quite a firm favourite with a lot of different people. So my sister already had this and I've seen other people with it and I was just desperate and I saw it and I couldn't resist. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three and a half, four, one and three quarters. Yes, it is the shrunken head. So we have named Tyrone. It was a really good name idea. Anyway, he's gonna hang in my car in future. When I get a new car, I'm gonna hang him. At the moment, I took a photo for Instagram the other day. You guys loved it of him just hung there because it's like the most perfect place you could put something like this. He has like four different phrases. <laughs> Literally, I love him. It's amazing. You can change the batteries in him. He was £13.95, so he's got like a plastic head and then he's got all of his hair and a piece of string which you tie around to wherever you want to put him. 
I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this and I think it is actually a really well priced item. So he comes on that, he was just £13.95 so you've got replaceable batteries and that's the only thing in the store when you think everyone's probably pressed him about a hundred times just to listen to the different sayings. But yeah, he comes on this, really happy and I can't wait to put him up. So in previous hauls this year, you've seen I bought a few water bottles and I haven't had any success with Harry Potter water bottles. I had a Hogwarts one which didn't last very long from Primark. I mean, it was £3 but I literally had only used it about twice. Um, and I also had another one which I loved which was a Quidditch water bottle. That lasted me a few months and then I took it camping and ruined it, so I just haven't had very much luck with it. Anyway, I saw one at the tour, it was Hufflepuff and it was about, well, let me check the price, it was £13 I believe, and it is perfect. I thought I will give it one last shot, third time, lucky. It's this Hufflepuff Quidditch water bottle, so it's looking so yellow and nice. The only thing that concerns me is this is fabric, but when you wash it, you can actually slip that off. It's really well made, so it's got a tippy bit at the top. Inside, you unscrew it, and it's got a straw, which is actually detachable if you don't want to use it like that. Seems to be a good brand. It's got proper cleaning instructions and everything like that. It's even got a strap. I don't know why you would need the strap, but it's still good to have. I don't know how much this holds. I'm guessing it's about 750 mil. Does it stay on here? But yes, it was £13, and it's got the yellow sleeve with Hufflepuff Quidditch so it matches a t-shirt I bought last year and it says the making of Harry Potter there. It's really well made and I cannot wait to use it. I'm probably only going to use it at home because I really don't want to ruin it but this was definitely an item I saw and thought yeah that's useful and definitely something that I like. I also apologise for the lighting today guys. The sun that just keeps coming in and out constantly all day. One minute it's raining, next minute it's sunny. So I can't keep up with it. I know this video is probably going dark light, dark light. Cannot do anything about it. I have my lights on and yeah, it's just affecting it. On to the last item. It's my favourite. It's something I really wanted for a really long time and it's Fantastic Beasts related, so I'm gonna wear it loads around the time The Crimes of Grindelwald comes out, but just loads in general, because I'm obsessed with it. Newt scarf. How much more perfect could I have got with this? It was 27 pounds, but it is such good quality. It's just like the one he would have worn. Um, it's got all of the details, so it's got the gray and the yellow, which is a really nice color for a scarf. It's my favorite Hufflepuff scarf that they do. I don't have an official one at the moment until now. And then it's got the gray and yellow tassels. It's just gonna look amazing. I love it so much. I feel like Newt when I wear it, I feel as wise as Newt. I also need to take his life tips on board. But yeah, I'm gonna wear this probably when I go to the Cursed Child, maybe to drag on if it's cold enough to the premiere, who knows, I'm gonna wear it all winter because it's actually really fashionable as well as being a Harry Potter item, which is my favorite thing when that happens. A lot of them, you are just showing your kind of geeky love for Harry Potter, but this is actually just a really nice scarf anyway, which I would buy if it was in like new look. Very happy with this, definitely my favorite item that I purchased. They had lots of lovely Fantastic Beasts merch as well as Harry Potter. If I hadn't have bought that, I was quite tempted with um, Safina Pequiri, is that how you say her name? Her wand is really nice, Queenie's wand and also Professor McGonagall's wand, but the scarf is something I would use more and that's why I purchased it. I really hope you've enjoyed my studio tour haul. I was so happy and felt very lucky with all of the items that I bought. My favourites have to be, as I said, this scarf, my shrunken head, and my Professor McGonagall postcard. All the different items you should be able to find in the store and online. I do believe a lot of you guys asked if you could get this afterwards and where it was from on my Instagram, and it's out of stock online. But if you go to the studio tour, hopefully they will have it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was, and I will see you very soon for more studio tour goodness. You still need to see my whole Harry Potter collection. I have lots of videos coming out as usual, so don't forget to be back here next Sunday. I'll see you very soon, Potter Puffs. Bye.